forward to continued collaboration with you in delivery of services to the Kenyans that are here. We happen to be in a country with which Kenya has very warm, cordial, multifaceted relations. It is also a country that plays a significant part in our economic relations, our exports. The U.S. remains the largest export destination of Kenya outside Africa and accounts for 10% of our overall exports. The chief guest urged the diaspora to reflect on their vision in the next 60 years. A few countries have had their destiny changed by their diasporas. I have in mind countries like Israel. I have in mind countries like Ireland. More recently we've had conversations around countries like India or the Philippines. So, my people, the Kenyan diaspora in the U.S., what will your story be for the next 60 years? Now that we are done with these 60 years, somebody said, we are 60, therefore we are a baby. Now that's done. We're moving on to eating meat. We're moving on beyond 60. What will your story be? At the end of the gathering, I had a one-on-one -on -one interview with the peers about the forthcoming diaspora conference in Nairobi. The conference is scheduled to take place at KICC from 13th to 15th December this year. And as we uh, run up to that, our first uh, diaspora investment conference hosted by the State Department, then it's wonderful to be here in the U.S. and meet some of the diaspora who are going to be coming home for this event. Uh, some of them will be coming to exhibit, some of them are coming to see the investment opportunities that are available. Yeah. Yeah. Quite significant, given that uh, the meters inflows have been increasing over the years. Kenyans are living abroad, are playing a critical role in Kenyan social economy. Yes, and, and, and you know, uh, Chamoda, one of the things that we hope to do with this particular conference is actually to turn the tide a little bit on that remittance conversation so that we are changing uh, the mix of remittance so that we move from being largely dependent on it from a social point of view, but in, uh, switch that up so that we have a larger portion of that remittance being an investment. And so, the Delta Investment Conference of December, then will be presenting interesting investment opportunities for diaspora who then can come and find places to put their money, whether it is in the money market or whether it is in real estate or investment in fintech. Uh, the banks will be there. Everybody who has opportunity for the diaspora should be there. Uh -huh. yeah. And this is on, from 13th to 15th of December at KICC. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Any call to action? Are people still registering? How do they register? Mm -hmm. Sponsors? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we, you can register online, um, and that is at Kenya Diaspora Conference. The CEO, the KE, where you can register for the conference, you can register as a participant, you can register as a sponsor, you can take up a booth for exhibition so that uh, you can show, showcase what you have. We are particularly interested in people from the counties uh, coming to show off what investment opportunities are available in the counties, and that information is also available right there um, on the website. Amazing thing coming out of Atlanta, Georgia. And with that, we have come to the end of the show today. Many thanks to all our guests and to you for always keeping time and taking this journey together with us. On behalf of the entire team responsible for the production of this week's episode, we say many thanks for watching. Let's do this again next time.